are you planning to start drip installation or to do the drip installation even without involving a technician this is for you as a farmer or as a drip technician all you need to to, to know is different uh, parts or different uh, units that you need to buy because there are different sections that you need to have for you to succeed in drip irrigation. When we talk of drip irrigation, mostly we usually focus with this drip tip. But there are other parts that you need to have. You need to have a drip tape. This is called a drip tape. You need to have offtake. This is the, the offtake. You also need to have a rubber. You need to have a drill bit. This one is to make the holes where we are going to to insert the rubber and also to put the off tick. And also you need a pipe. You need such a pipe. Those are the things that you need. The next thing is to know the distance between uh, uh, the drip where you are installing the drip. For example, you can see how I've installed the drip. The distance from one uh, drip line where one lies to the other. You can do a bed with two drip lines. You can do a bed with three like I've done. You can do with four, five. I've seen uh, other onion farmers who are doing even six lines. You choose the number of lines that you want to have. But the distance, in most cases, we usually have... A, a uniform distance like in my case i'm using 20 centimeters from one section to the other that is the centimeters that i'm using uh, so that i can have a uniformity in my bed so one from one section to the other is 20 centimeters when you know the distance the next thing is to make the holes and this gadget will help you to make holes in most cases this gadget is 16 mm which is the same size with the with the drip this one is 16 millimeters they are both 16 millimeters so you make a hole of 16 millimeters after making the hole you insert the rubber you insert the rubber then from there you insert the off tick that how you insert the drip line after inserting the off tick you tie your drip line and start rolling it roll it to the hand make sure it's it's straight up to the edge head point where your bed reaches uh we have different beds in the length some are having um a 20 meters bed 25 meters bed 30 meters bed when it comes to to drip line when it comes to drip line we have different types of drip line depending by the thickness of the drip line like this one that i'm using here is 0 0.4 drip line we have 0 0.3 which is weaker than this one and we also have 0 0.2 so depending by your capital investment and your budget go for the strongest drip 0 0.4 is the best it can adopt in no weathers hot and cold areas the best and it stays for longer period as compared to other um, uh, types of drip so when choosing the drip uh, go with the strongest and there is something i want to i wanted to clarify is how to install the drip line when installing it the emitters which are these holes are supposed to be facing upwards this is because to avoid clogging of algae uh, when the water start coming out of this when they face down one the algae plus this in the soil will come clog on the emitters and it is going to block the emitter so when they face up one there will be no clogging and the water will flow very easily and very swiftly uh, as required all as you've, you've planned. So all the emitters are supposed to, to be facing upwards. Uh, talking of emitters, we have different types of uh, distance of emitters. Uh, 15, like mine is, I'm using 15 centimeters from one emitter to the other. And also we have 20 centimeters, other than that centimeters. So it depends by which crop you want to do or what you're planning to do. And at the edge of the drip, if you don't have the head cap, you, you don't worry about that. It is as simple as this. You just make your own head cap 
and fix it and make sure that your drip are well fixed and you're good to go so that was the cut short cut short cause of installing the drip irrigation hope you've learned something if you have any further question about drip installation leave it on the comment section or you can also reach me via this number so that we can continue learning together bye